Protect and Defend is the eighth book in the Mitch Rapp series written by Vince Flynn. As you might have guessed, since I've now read eight books, I really love this series. Rapp is a great character and he's surrounded by a supporting cast who also add to making these very interesting reads. So, what mischief is Rapp up to this time? Well, let's take a look at the blurb. With Iran on the brink of developing a nuclear weapon, Israel is forced to react and triggers an international crisis. An outraged United Nations condemns the attacks, while Iran swears vengeance against Israel and her chief backer, the USA. True to form, this is a real page turner, as Rap once again has to get down and dirty to get things done. The story switches effortlessly between presidential offices and dingy hotel rooms and everything in between. One thing I particularly liked about this one was that my next favourite character, Irene Kennedy, she plays a much bigger role in this one. She's, she's such a well-written character, and having her much more involved in this story was great. Around a year has passed since the end of the previous book, but it starts off with events directly related to the end of that one. And this leads me to one of the things I really like about the Mitch Rapp series. While, yes, they are a series, Flynn writes them in such a way that you could read each one as a standalone novel. For instance, in Protect and Defend, he gives enough background info to the opening events that you could read this without having read Act of Treason, the previous book in the series, and not be left thinking, who's this person and why are they important? This kind of approach really lowers the barriers to entry. You can start at the first book published, like I did. You could start with the prequel books too. But you could just about pick up a book from anywhere in the series and take it from there. Protect and Defend has a bit more political stuff in it than door-kicking action this time around. That is, until the final 100 pages or so where an event happens and then the clock starts ticking and the pressure cooker gets cranked up to a thousand. This is a very entertaining read, and this, along with the entire series, is highly recommended for a good bit of turn-off-your-brain action adventure. <laughs> 